Yo, what's up YouTubers? Um, this is Russell Exploitation here, just doing a quick DVD update of some of the DVDs I've got in the last uh, week or two. Uh, I'm going to start off with uh, the shameless release of uh, Joe D'Amato's uh, Love Goddess of the Cannibals, um, aka Papaya. Um, kind of a cannibal film, um, obviously Joe D'Amato, trashy Italian director, so you've got to love him. Um, kind of a trashy cannibal film but it's not really a cannibal, cannibal film as such it's kind of a, a sex exploitation film with a bit of cannibalism in it basically just to try and spice it up um, not bad not not wholly terrible or anything quite a nice score by Stelvio Cipriani um, so UK shameless edition um, it's the rebuild edit so they've actually got some footage that hasn't been seen before it's the most complete version I believe it's on the market um, optional English or Italian audio, no special features because it's not a shameless fan edition but I've um, been meaning to pick that up for a while, just haven't got around to it so um, get that um, really good giallo, short night of glass dolls, uh, US Blue Underground uh, uh, Region Zero edition um, really like giallos, I'm a big giallo fan, I'm a big Italian film fan basically in general but I really do like giallos um, this one is uh, directed by Aldo Alado, who um, some of you probably know directed uh, Night Train Murders. Um, good picture quality, uh, usual extras from um, Blue Underground, like interview with the director and everything and that. So um, if you're really into yellows, get that, it's good. Um, US Shout Factory edition of uh, Dirty Mary and Crazy Larry, uh, doubled up with Race with the Devil. Really got this for Race with the Devil because that is a great film. It's a really good double bill, actually. It's good to have not as into Dirty Mary or Crazy Larry. It's, it's not as good a film as Race with the Devil, but it's good to have anyway. Um, it was pretty cheap, so it's just good to have that as a bonus. But Race with the Devil, if you haven't seen it, is a really good film. Uh, Pitt Fonda and Warren Oates basically are this uh, they go on holiday with their wives in this uh, camper van and basically they, they take their dirt bikes with them and they're just going to have a good time over the weekend and everything and take their dirt bikes out for racing and stuff and one evening they, they witness a, um, a rit ritual in the distance going on and uh, use their binoculars and basically find out there's some Satanists um, sacrificing a young girl and uh, who end up killing her um, the Satanists then see them and basically they have to um, try and get out of town as fast as they can and they're kind of chased and basically every time they stop you don't know exactly who is involved you know who could be involved uh, and it's you know it does have a slight resemblance to the Wicker Man I'll be it's not a rip-off of the Wicker Man but if you, I'd be very surprised if they didn't draw some inspiration from The Wicker Man, but it has that kind of vibe. It's only actually a PG, but it's got a very creepy tone to it. Good ending, which I won't give away. So if you can get that, well worth picking up. Dear God, no. Um, this is a new sort of exploitation film. Um, I believe uh, directed by James Bickert. Um, he's a big exploitation film fan and. Uh, by all accounts, basically got kind of fed up with basically not being able to find any more exploitation films to to see, and basically thought, well, let's make a new one of ourselves. I haven't actually watched this yet. Um, I'm a bit hit and miss with some of these new exploitation films. They, they never quite really gel for me. So I'm going to give that one a go anyway, because I've heard some good things about it. But um, this is the UK edition on, uh, uh, I think it's Monster Pictures, but it's actually slightly cut, so I believe the US one is uncut. So if you're probably going to, if you want to buy it, then probably go for the US edition. Um, I think there's about a minute cut out of this. This has the theatrical or regular cut, and the new and a all new grindhouse cut of the film as well. Uh, loads and loads of features on there. Um, good package. Picked up quite cheapish on Amazon, so get that. Um, been meaning to get this for a while. Lucky to get this. This is the now out of print um, case of the Scorpion's Tail. Uh, another really good jello on the No Shame label. Uh, I've talked about No Shame before. They're a really good uh, Italian label that had a US uh, subdivision that went out of business quite quickly and they released a lot of good Eurocrime films and Jallos and some other films. Um, this goes for as most of No Shame's films now goes for quite big money. So um, I was really lucky to get that at quite a good price. So um, I really want to pick up your vices a lot door. Um, 
but that is really expensive. So I'm um, really glad to get that. Directed by Sergio Martino. Um, as usual, no shame. Uh, some good features on there. There's a booklet inside. Really good um, picture quality. Remastered from the original Neg. Um, so if you can find that, that's well worth picking up. Uh, bootleg I've got uh, picked up online of Endgame, which is um, a Joe Tomato um, post-apocalyptic uh, movie from the early 80s. Um, the Italians, uh, as most people know, very kind of like uh, fad orientated and obviously start of the 80s there was a lot of post-nuke movies being made. You know, Mad Max and uh, Escape from New York and those kind of films. So the obviously Italian film industry jumped on the bandwagon and made a, a bundle of them. Um, sadly not out on DVD I believe you can get it on DVD in Germany I think I think there's a there's a new edition that's just come out but sadly not available anywhere else um, but that's a, a really good post nuke film got Al Cliver in George Hilton um, some really good Italian stars and that get that uh, next up we have Rico the Me Machine um, you might have seen my Eurocrime videos um, this was one that was sadly missing from my collection um, this is on the US, uh, I think it's a Dark Sky, yeah, Dark Sky label. Um, hasn't been out on DVD before, and um, it's, this has been out a few years, but I just haven't picked it up. But um, it was never out on, on DVD till quite a few years after DVDs came out. And um, it was released, I believe, on VHS uh, back in the day as, as a horror film, as Cauldron of Death. Um, but I think that was cut. This is now the uncut complete version um it's really a kind of euro crime film um it's not really a horror film though there is some sort of quite gruesome things happen happen in it um stars christopher mitchum robert mitchum's son uh the, the lovely barbara boucher uh very violent uh really worth getting that one if you could pick that one up um excellent um the out of print uh, US edition of Squirm on MGM, um, really, really good low budget uh, 70s horror film with uh, sort of killer worms and everything in that. This is one of Eli Roth's favourite films actually. Um, I believe he met the director on, um, uh, sorry, the, the star of the film who's now a director and uh, was really starstruck by him and that. Um, sadly not available in the UK but you can get this uh, probably from Amazon or something. Um, online uh special features got audio commentary um but that's really well worth picking up uh arrow um this is on yeah this is arrow this is the the brand new uh edition of licorice quartet this has just come out um lovely release from arrow licorice quartet is kind of um it's an italian film uh, not really my usual bag, but it, it's very so well made. This film, it, it's it's one of those films that kind of unites uh, exploitation fans and uh, kind of art house fans. Really, it's a sort of it's it, it's basically an erotic sort of thriller, um, dressed by uh, Randy, uh, uh, Bradley Metzger. Sorry, um, lovely edition by Arrow, dual Blu-ray and DVD combo. Um, as always with Arrow, lovely package. Um, loads and loads of special features, um, reversible you know, booklet, as you can see, reversible sleeve, you know, so it's a lovely, uh, lovely package from them. Um, well worth picking that up. Lastly, uh, Dario, the Arrow version of um, Dario Argento's opera. Um, again, just I love Dario Argento, and I just haven't got this for some reason in my collection. I've been meaning to pick this up forever. And it's always one that's kind of slipped my mind, and I finally got around to picking it up. Um, again, quite a nice release. Got some special features on there. 5.1 audio, um, good picture quality. Another solid release from Arrow. So get that. Right, that's it. That's my DVD update for now. Um, I shall probably post some more stuff soon. And uh, if you want to make a comment, please do. Uh, if you want me to go through any films in more detail, then I will do that. So. Uh, I will check out and see you soon. Take care.